Okay, so welcome back to another paint test. We're going to be doing this one here today. The uh, bed armor. There were two versions of this. There was one that was like $10 a can. This one was $15 a can. I assume it's the better of the two. But what I'm going to be doing it, using it on, not necessarily the bed, because the bed already has bed liner in there, and that's all like some kind of pretty good plastic. But I'm going to be using it on these rails after the truck passes by. Okay, the truck is gone, and now what I want to do is kind of cover up what's happening here on these these rails here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch it in the sun. I'm just going to kind of rock this around, but there's a bunch of fiberglass mixed into this plastic here. And what happens is when when we're all hanging around the truck talking and we all got our arms up on there, we all start feeling like we've got fiberglass in our arms because we do. And so what we're going to be doing is painting over all that with the bed bed armor and hopefully that's going to make that all look good. Now these things just pop off on the sides and I've already unscrewed the one on the top of the tailgate. I'm just going to paint right over the top of everything. I'm not going to prepare it, you know, like sanding it because it's so far gone anyway. It's all sun damaged and porous. I would have to imagine everything's going to stick on there really good anyway. So let me get set up and we'll spray it. Okay, got it all set up. I just wanted to show you quickly. I don't think it was showing up in that other scene. Look up close here at fiberglass. I don't know if it's showing up there this way, but yeah, ironically while I was setting up, getting them rails off of the truck. I got a whole bunch of fiberglass all up in my arms, kind of one last hurrah, because this will be the end of it today. Get it all covered up, so let me get the camera set up and I'll start painting.
Okay, so here's the result on that first coat. As I'm sure you noticed that it, I put it on real heavy on the first coat because I just I was imagining it was going to soak in and uh, seems to be, you can see here, like right there, it's turning a little pale, meaning that it's absorbing. And like over here, it's still pretty wet. But yeah, it will do the texture finish. But if you put it on heavy like I was doing there, it's um, not not really doing it. So what I think I'm going to do... Oh, here here's an example. That's starting to look like it right over there. So anyway, so now that I have the heavy coat on, I think I'm going to give it another coat farther away. Um, just to start working on... Oh, that was a blemish that was on there already. That's not from the paint. But I think I'm going to start working on the uh, texture on this last coat here and it'll be a faster coat farther away and we'll see what we can get there okay let's do it Okay, and here's what we got. Yeah, that was that was the trick. That's what we needed. Now we got the texture coating on there. There's that same blemish. But that's more like what it's supposed to look like. I'll come around to the other side where you couldn't see what I was doing. But over here would be the top of the tailgate. And that's the way that's going to look. And I brought the camera over right, right after I stopped painting. So this is all super wet still. And I'll come back in a moment and show you what it looks like when it dried. But pretty happy so far. Alright. So next scene will be when it's dry. And by the way, for reference, all that painting I just did was about, I would say, about half this can. It feels like it's still half full, or half empty, if you're a pessimist. So, yeah, I mean, I could actually do more, um, which I'll talk about in a moment. But that's about how much it used. Okay, here's what we got after about an hour or an hour and a half of drying. It's got a kind of uh, semi... Huh, also has a lizard. What are the chances one of those w So, it's lizard proof and it's definitely going to definitely going to stand up to lizards pretty well because uh, you can already see I don't know. Hey, you're the one that you're the one that ruined the scene. All right, so it's going to be all about you now. Anyway, there's a good look at the finish. Here's a good close-up look at it. And let's see how that turned out on the top of the uh, tailgate. Pretty good. The garbage can's looking pretty good too. Okay. And I'm feeling it here, it seems it seems totally dry enough to actually install, so why not? Let's put them on. 
Okay, and here we go. The final product. I'm pretty happy with that. Boy, that's about 100% better. It makes the whole truck look better. Although this truck definitely needs some help. And there's the what the inside edge looks like when it's back on. And so there we go. I'd say that's a success. And uh, you know we won't know until like a year or two from now how um, how well it keeps. Yeah, not bad at all. And so there's that. So, you know, I've still got quite a bit left in the can, and you probably just saw, put that there. You probably just saw on the uh, fender there. See that? I've got the paint coming off. And I was just thinking it might look pretty good to uh, take these little fender flares off and paint them the same color as the uh, bed liner. Wouldn't that be good contrast there? It's just an idea, but I think so. And of course, you're gonna have to do a lot of prep there. You're gonna have to sand all of that off and smooth and really uh, rough up that surface before you put this stuff on there. But maybe I'll do that. Anyway, that's, uh, that's a look at what this stuff will do on that um, plastic with the fiberglass in it and uh, all faded and everything. And now, we can rest our, rest our forearms on it and not itch later. So anyway, appreciate you all watching. And uh, stay tuned. I test a lot of spray paint. And there will definitely be more. So, you all have a good one.